Don and Susan back with us on this Sunday morning. We'll get to the biggest surprise in government momentarily. But first, Don Bosch, the best and worst bills in the legislature so far. Well, the worst bills, uh, it's, it's like a bad buffet at Shoney's. There's so much to pick from, you don't know what to eat. Um, but it's really a, a tie between, I call it the, the, and I'm stealing this from my friend Gloria Johnson, the uh, slate of hate bills that we've seen. Uh, don't say gay in schools has come back around, banning books, the transgender legislation. Uh, it's really an ugly look for Tennessee uh, versus, uh, it sounds like a WWE match, the, uh, uh, the carry anywhere, anyhow, any one bills. We are going to be a less safe state. Um, the police are not going to be able to distinguish good guys from bad guys. People are going to get hurt with their own guns. This is not a smart decision. We need some minimal training and minimal legislation. Only a minute left. So, Susan, the best bills you've seen so far, or at least one, and then I want to hear your biggest surprise in government before we leave. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk about this a long time. I think the best bill that's passed is the Business Fairness Act, and it would allow non-essential businesses to stay open during a pandemic or some other kind of emergency as long as they're following the state and local rules and guidelines. And that has passed, and, you know, we had a lot of non-essential businesses uh, that were deemed non-essential that had to close. And um, so I think hopefully we won't be going through another pandemic anytime soon. But if we do, I think this Business Fairness Act is probably one of the things that will really help small business. Your name okay, and surprise. your surprise. Um, well, I found out today that Justin Biggs is running for trustee next year. So that's a surprise for me. I didn't All right, know Bosh, you mentioned yours before. We've got to run. We'll see you next week. Happy Easter.